Well, first of all, confidence. Um, I think we had really good targets leading into this series of what we wanted to achieve as a, as a team, not just as a batting unit. And we achieved those goals hands down. So the confidence from this series that we move into two big series at the end of the year, we appreciate that um, India and Australia are going to be a lot tougher. Um, Bangladesh uh, possibly didn't, didn't have the firepower that, that, would, that we thought they would have in, this, in these conditions. Um, yes, so confidence and also we won't get too far ahead of ourselves in thinking that with the Finnish article we'll still have a lot of work to do to try and be the team that we want to be. Well, from this series there's nothing that we could have done any better. Um, everyone did really well, everyone scored runs, there was big hundreds, there was lots of hundreds, there was really important partnerships. Um, so from this series, no. Um, but as I said, we're not the finished article yet. We understand that we're a team that needs to get better. Um, and if we get better, we'll, we'll, we'll challenge that number one position again. There is a difference in our top four seamers. Um, they are of a quality that is world class uh, and best in the world kind of bowlers. So if you judge guys according to them, there would be a gap and fairly so. Um, so for me, it's important how we can make those guys get better. Um, for when the time comes for not just one, but maybe two or three of those bowlers would need to step up into the team. Um, as I said, for now, it's we're very fortunate that we've got a very high seam, seam attack, and now with Keshav as well, we've got a very good bowling attack. Um, so hopefully they'll be fit to, to play most of the games, but these guys that play the last two test matches will be looked at for the future. So it's important for them to see that, yes, there is still a little bit of work to do, um, but if, yeah, they've got the quality, just, just just a little bit of a gap still between the two of them. You want to see from young bowlers, you want to see improvement. You want to see that they can learn quickly at, at the highest level. Um, because the guys that can, can learn and can get better, you can stick with them because they, they, they will get better. Uh, and the way he bowled today was a fantastic um, bowling effort. Um, I said at post-match that to bowl 10 overs on the trot of short ball work takes Incredible, bowler, incredible effort. Um, so I have to take my hat off him today. He was, he was our best bowler today. Um, obviously, KG's skill, you can't compare any of our bowlers to KG's skill. But from what we needed from a bowling attack today was to be ruthless and aggressive and try and make it uncomfortable for Bangladesh. Uh, and and he, led it, he, he led us in that aspect today. So very proud to see that he can make those um, improvements. Before the series started, I said Bangladesh this would be a great challenge for them to see where they are in travelling and playing cricket overseas. Uh, and the last year or two, uh, the way they've been playing, on, on certainly from, uh, from an outside perspective on the TV while watching them, you, you could see that they were a, a high quality test team. Um, so I expected a bigger fight. I expected them to not win the series, but I, I expected to be there, be sessions in the game where we would have to be um, absorbing a lot of pressure because they do have a skill in their team. Um, but with that, you have to say that our team just did it better. I mean, if they try to do anything to try and put some sort of pressure on us, we responded um, positively and aggressively, like we spoke about in the team. And and basically five or six overs after that, we were back and dominating the game. So we, I just look at the way we played this series and, and, and we really did play really well.